Don, have you uh, ever been in such a lopsided series as this, and, and how does it help or hurt you going into the loop? Well, you know, we, I think, uh, you know, 102, I think we played, uh, I don't remember who to open up the season one, but I think we big scores. But, you know, we have a young team. And uh, I think it helps from the standpoint of a lot of guys scored their first goal. Zach Booters had his first goal after a long rehab and missing last season. So from that standpoint, I, I think it was good for us. I got Sacred Hearts played better tonight. Uh, tighter, a little more physical. Made us work. We had our moments. Um, obviously, if we have moments like that next weekend, we're going to pop the puck in the back of the net. But, you know, we have a lot of young guys out there and uh, a lot of good experience. And, you know, they just have to continue to play and we have to be able to look at video and, and uh, look at the things that we did well and things that we have to work on. But we have to stay patient. We have to understand that we're going to go through periods and games where, you know, early on we were turning pucks over left and right and playing the game on our backhand. And we're not very successful when you do that. But then I thought we got, we got moving better. We, we had better puck possession, better puck control. And, um, so I thought we improved as the game went on. What did you like and what did you not like this weekend? Well, I liked I liked our goaltender. I thought Kent, you know, he had to make some saves during the back-to-back -back shutouts. I, I liked the play of some of our young freshmen. I thought that they stepped in and did a nice job. Um, you know, we didn't give up a power play goal. That was a good thing. I mean, we, we scored a couple of power play goals, but we really didn't have that many power plays where we really had our units together. Because, you know, we were just playing a little bit of whatever line was out in that third period. Really, um, but we, we had an opportunity to play some different players over the last two weeks, which we wanted to do heading up to the UMB. It's going to take 22 next week. And, um, but we, we know that we're going to play a better opponent next week. But uh, I think it was good for us to, to have these games, to hopefully gain some confidence, and you know, know that we can do some things too on the ice. I've never had a shutout before this weekend, and now all of a sudden that's all he does. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even realize that, but you know, he's ever since he took over last year, um, he's he's played at a very high level, uh, given his team a chance to, and he's going to have to be our backbone. You got a decor with you no know, seniors and one junior, and a lot of experience. They're going to make some mistakes in front of him, but I, I thought they did a pretty good job, and they were pretty physical, uh, cleared away second chance opportunities. Um, I thought our forwards did a nice job of uh, tracking back, you know, back checking and, and uh, putting backside pressure on. That's what we want. So to me, there was a whole lot of positives. And, you know, we're going to practice a week. So. No shutouts in your career, and now two back to back. That's a Quite a way to get started on this year. Yeah, I'd say it's uh, not only it was exciting for me, but it's exciting for the team to just blink uh, our first week in the So, now what do you do for an encore? Uh, we got uh, Duluth next week, and so uh, we're going to prepare this week. Um, we had a, a good series against them last year, and uh, hopefully, we continue that. I think we get a great team, and I think they proved it this weekend. We got the scoring power we need, and uh, the defense played well, and the guys back checked. How did things look from from your vantage point? What uh, what were you most impressed with your teammates this week? I was, uh, most, uh, the thing I was most impressed with was our back check, our hustle coming back to the zone. Uh, I think that was a big improvement from uh, the team last year, and uh, I think it definitely showed out there. Guys are hustling back and uh, catching their uh, forwards on the backside. How was it playing behind a lot bigger defensemen this year than you have in the past? Oh, well, it definitely helps um, for uh, just for the sake of me being able to make that first save and other guys on the front. It's uh, definitely an advantage for our team and uh, it helps me out a lot. Did you know this goalie didn't have the stick in his hands? Did you recognize that? Uh, can you repeat oh, that, please? On your first goal, did you know that their goalie didn't have a stick in his no, hands? No, I just kind of okay. got in their slot and I just shot it high. Okay. Coach said that he had talked to you about shooting more. Is that something you were thinking about this weekend? Oh, yeah, definitely. Coming in this year, in my second year, I definitely feel more confident shooting the puck more. And I kind of showed that with the first game, having eight shots on goal. And I don't know. It kind of goes a long way. And it was the first game goal. And then I had two goals. So I can definitely help. Your line was good for games. How do you guys mesh together? I played with Hanson last year already, and we kind of got chemistry going already then. And uh, Warning's a solid player, and he's kind of like Sipas, who was the third link in our line last year. So um, um, we kind of had chemistry right away. You guys got contributions from a lot of players this week, and I know there's been some discussion about who's going to be the goal scorers on this team. What are your thoughts uh, for the first weekend about who who's going to score for this team? I think we, we have a really deep team. I mean, I think our fourth line and third line can also uh, chip in with goals and stuff. And uh, 
think we showed everyone how deep we are and stuff. And it was also good to get all the freshmen on the board and uh, kind of pop their confidence up and stuff. So we're really happy with this weekend.